So you can tell by the title of this, it might be clickbaity, but no, I'm going on some actuality here. I was, uh, well, listening to Ring of Fire and yeah, it said, did Sarah Huckabee Sanders tweet doctored footage of CNN's Jim Acosta? And I'm like, oh, what, what's this good? What's this about? What's, what's going on? What's going on? And why is it going on? So I listened to it. And then listening to it, I'm like, hmm, wait a minute. Can't listen. Got to look. So I look, rewind it, look at it. And I'm like, oh, wow. That's amazingly dumb. Okay. So look, the whole thing is. Not just what was tweeted. Yes, she tweeted Dr. Footage. Yes. Honestly, that slander. Go ahead and, you know, lock her up. You know, uh, he's got a libel case going on what Farron Cousin said, a libel case. I have no idea all about that and whatnot. But I I understand. what What is Cedra tweeting me that the phone won't correct? Oh, she wrote the letter K. Okay, see, I'm trying to, I'm not, I'm not in it, in it. Okay, she's at the optical shop with our baby girl. Okay, so, okay. So, um, I'm like, you know what? That's not right. Because, see, here's what happens. She's going to dodge. So, so that's libel. And she's uh, tweeting this. So that's public humiliation. She's releasing false statements and everything. Uh, she's saying that he accosted her, you know, actually assaulted, um, you know, with and and there was somebody went out there and went with the multiple speeds of it all and showed it. And it's like, oh, wow, it's so obvious, you know, it's like, hey, I pointed at you. Something happened. I'm startled. My hand lowered. Oh, OK, that's what happened. That's 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 what happened. But my thoughts was. Why is nobody really going with the other thing of this, the other angle, you know? I mean, Jim Acosta got accosted. That's what happened. I mean, he's talking. He's not paying much attention to anything around him. So Trump makes the signal verbally, take his mic. You don't want to hear from him anymore. Okay, fine. But the guy doesn't fully understand What's going to happen? I guess he doesn't. So when the woman grabs the item that he is holding, it might have been a blind knee jerk reaction to defend yourself. Anyone think about that? Defend yourself. Hey, I'm, if I'm watching something, I'm chilling. I feel something crawl on my shoulder. I'm not going to say, oh, you have the complete passage to do this. It maybe cause me bodily harm. No, I'm going to smack it. Because whatever it is, it don't need to be on me. You know, I did not consent to the crawling of my arm, you know, <laughs> or anything of the sort. So, okay. Now, this she grabs the mic. His hand comes down. And it was most likely a blind thing of something's touching me. And you, a lot. Of, and, and you know what? At that moment, she did assault him. She grabbed something that he had possession of willful possession yeah willful possession there was no indicator no strong one to say remove his microphone from him there was nothing except what it was very esoteric so he had no idea you know trump gives the high sign and she obeys and he doesn't know hey he honestly defended himself he did the right thing and others might be saying look you know you might want to go with the whole thing of like, hey, you got to understand, that's not his microphone. That's not his property. You know what? He was holding it at the time. Possession is nine tenths of the law, isn't it? I mean, that's how they, you know, capture all these little criminals and whatnot, right? You know, well, you had it on you, so it must be yours. Oh, but now that he has something that's not his, but hey, possession, right? But it don't count because you want to drive a narrative. Well, you know what? You're jacked up in the head. That's just That's just it right there. You know what? And if, if if you if you're like, yeah, I am messed up in the head. I'm like, man, you know what? Respect. I respect somebody that can be honest. <laughs> um, so, uh, what should have happened 
was this guy say she assaulted me. I look, I've been assaulted. Every a lot of people, if you've been bullied, you've been assaulted. And I've been assaulted by people that can't have anything wrong, you know, they done to them. They can't do any wrong, and nothing wrong can be done to them. I was working uh, as a dock attendant, and this woman was trying to cite me on, you know, uh, you know, selling products, which I didn't and couldn't because nobody was buying and nobody was interested, although she was doing the exact same thing. And she grabbed my badge without my permission, and it's on my person, and it's not the property of me or hers or her companies. And she grabs it and yanks it off my sleeve, scratching me. Now, here's the thing. Me uh, attempting to sell any merchandise on the property is far more egregious than her assaulting me. I mean, you know, could it be that she's white or could it be that I'm just a, to a dock attendant? Which one could it be? It might have been both, honestly. You're just a lowly dock attendant. You're nobody. And this guy, he's like, you're a reporter. You're not on the inside. You're asking questions. We're sick of you. Get up out of here. That could be it. That could have been it. But he can he can sue her. He can. He, that was self-defense. And people need to. Now, if you want to go against that. Okay, then. Let's put it this way so that maybe you can understand. You chilling. It's, it's, it's getting cold outside. What if somebody loans you their jacket? You put the jacket on just to be cool for a little bit while you wait for the bus or something like that or wait for your friend to come pick you up or while you locked out the house and somebody you know that you know loans you the, the, the shirt off their back basically so you can stay warm just until you know you're able to get into the house or whatnot you know so what happens then what if they say um i got the high sign to take my stuff from you so they just grab you by your shoulders and throw you to the ground and rip it off of you are you saying that I, I probably went too far, went too extreme with it? Okay, then they give you no warning. Uh, you turn around and they grab you the sh the coat or item from behind and and just with all the force they can drag it down and off your body. Now you probably be startled, stunned, and confused. You might even fight to keep it on at first. Going on Huckabee Sanders, you just committed assault. You decided to keep the item on that doesn't belong to you. Now you've committed assault because you fought back. You resisted somebody trying to control something about you. Ah, conundrums, right? It's all about comparative reasoning. I'm not putting any spin on it. I'm being serious. I tried to come at this with multiple angles and whatnot. But what Huckabee Sanders is doing is downright lying and is shameful and she and the White House should be sued for what she has done or at least she should be personally sued that's what at the bottom barrel least should happen okay Jim Acosta should sue Huck Sarah Huckabee Sanders for what she has done it's just part of the game I suppose I don't know Imagine if you was on the other end of that. Think about that. Empathy. I mean, it kills a lot of conversation, don't it? This is Cedric Kennedy for Comparative Reasoning. Thank you for listening.